Today is July the 26th. How did the Israelites decide where to live? Let's find out together as we read Joshua chapters 18 and 19. Reading through the Bible in a year, I'd like you to read Joshua 18 and 19 again. Uh, put up with the repetition that you're going to find there and uh, the incredible detail. There's definitely uh, something that we can learn from this. So in chapter 18, um, Joshua now comes to the remaining seven tribes. He has given allocations of land for the two and a half tribes on the other side of the Jordan River. Then he's done it for two and a half tribes on the west side of the Jordan River. There are seven tribes left. In chapter 18, Joshua comes to the seven tribes. He says, uh, pick three men from each tribe. Uh, we'll get 21 in all. We'll send them to scout out the northern territory. That's land that they had not occupied yet. Um, they scouted out that territory, and then they brought that information back to Joshua. And the book of Joshua says very clearly that in verse 10 at Shiloh, where the tabernacle had been erected, Joshua cast sacred lots in the presence of the Lord to determine which tribe should have each section. Then he divides the rest of the land up between Benjamin, Simeon, Zebulon, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan. Six of those tribes went to the north. Simeon actually went to the south. Uh, it occupied a, a piece of territory that was inside the territory already allotted to Judah with the simple observation that Judah had more land than they knew what to do with. Uh, they couldn't occupy all of the land. So Simeon occupied part of that land. Essentially, Simeon disappears over the next centuries, and Judah sort of absorbs it. In the rest of the land, uh, the land is given. Now, it's not like the first two and a half tribes where uh, Joshua uh, says that uh, they were unable to occupy all of that land. Apparently, uh, they were better able to occupy the land, at least so we believe, until we get to the book of Judges. But um, it's very clear this decision is left to God. Israel occupied the land as a matter of obedience to God. Uh, we see this at the very start. Joshua cast lots to determine who would go where. And then in uh, chapter 19, verse 50, for Joshua himself, the Lord said, I promised you a town. And so Joshua, being from the time of t the tribe of Ephraim, picked a town in Ephraim. And we see in verse 50, the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and he lived there. All through these chapters, God ordains that they will live in this place. God tells them where to go. God tells them what to do. How did Israel decide where to live? They looked to the Lord. Today, um, I'm not necessarily saying that uh, we should cast lots and determine where we live, but uh, you know what? Make it a matter of prayer if you are moving, if you've moved into a particular neighborhood. 
Make it a matter of prayer. Listen to the Lord. Your neighbors determine the quality of your life. Like, follow, and subscribe to this devotional on whatever platform you use to listen to it. Email your questions to us at questions at becomehope.com. Tomorrow, we'll answer the question, what should we do when things go wrong?